happy Mother's Day. What do you think? It's good. What's up, my little terribles? We are at Quinn Terribles HQ with IQ. Mm, and he's holding something that. special. Look at this. Look, look, look. It's a coffee cup shaped like a donut. Mmm, donut. See that on the back? What are we doing today? Uh, we're going to do a donut challenge. We're doing a donut challenge for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Definitely appreciate that. And Kia Killjoy. Here she is. Say hi. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. So what are we doing now? We this was your idea. You cooked up. What is it? I figure there's so many donut shops here in Las Vegas that it's good to do a donut challenge to find the best donut shop for flavor and value in Las Vegas. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to donut shops all around, and here's the deal. Privately owned. Privately owned. We're going to the mom and pop independent shops. We're not going to the chains like your Dunkin's or Winchell's, which are fine. We like them all, don't get us wrong. But the trick today is to find out the local stuff that you don't always hear about. So we have, this is gonna be done in sections because there's a ton of donut shops we we've come to find like out. We, we thought there'd be three or four, but this is a city of two million people. We likes our donuts, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do this as multi-part. So today is part one and uh, ready to hit the road? We are going to Ronald's Donuts Ronald's on donuts. Spring Mountain. We are gonna go to Real Donuts on Charleston and Shadow. And then we're gonna go to Dulce Donuts on Decatur and Washington. All right, let's hit the road. Here we go. See that car right there? Almost took us out, but they're but we're okay. They're, they're pretty funny. There's a place right there. It's called Ronald's Donuts. Okay. Oh. And this is this is precarious. This is Spring Mountain. This is the um, the, the part of town. I guess you would call like a. I guess it would call them Chinatown, but it's Asian businesses and restaurants of all varieties actually so I don't quite know what to make of Ronald's if it's Asian owned or not we don't know but either way I'm sure it's this gonna be good going so slow. those ones are going too fast they should all drive together they didn't get the memo they did not so I thought this would be fun. hold on here we go oh, okay my whole life flashed before my donuts <laughs> Chocolate. And there's the sprinkle, so. There you go. There's jellies, too. Jellies are my personal favorite, but we're gonna just test plain ones today. Ronald's Donuts. Okay, there's a street right there, it's called Myrtle. Uh, right, right that sign right there is Myrtle and Spring Mountain. So, we learned an interesting fact about Ronald's is that it's cash only. And the donuts were 90 cents a shot, so we got three donuts, and it was 270. Was there any tax on it? Or just two, that was 270. 270, yeah. okay. All right, Abe, what do you think? Age and IQ. One down, two to go. All right, we got two more places to go. Let's hit the road. Columbus. So over there, that's UMC. That's no, our. Not. That's Valley Hospital. Well, there's UMC back there. That's our main hospital here in town. That's like the big trauma place and all that. And right across the street, oh, real like donuts. I wonder what fake donuts taste like. I don't know. Real donuts. I was hoping for artificial ones. I wanted to see what would happen. And it's not cash only. Let's go check Does it, it out. Does it say cash only? Happy donut. Real donuts number one. High sugar donuts. Oh. oh, we're almost out. Okay. Okay, we'll we work with this. We can work with it. Let's see. I'll take that one. Clean ones. I'll take that. They one. must be pretty popular if they are already out. Well, here's some up here too. Mm. All right, we can quickly check. All right, says so real donuts. Here's their card. Their information. Boy, as you saw in the video, there's little slim pickings up in there, no? Yeah. Well, I guess it's uh, they're coming up in their closing time, so they only make a certain amount, and that's the end of that story. But apparently, the current owner's what ten years here, and then the guy before him was nine or something yeah, like that. The other way around. The oh. current owner's been there for nine, and the previous owner was there for about ten. So about twenty so years about of this 20 place. Years. Yeah. 
But it was neat because uh, I was looking in back in their kitchen, and when I was little, my parents owned a couple donut shops, and it was like all kind of like memories. I was like, hey, I know, I remember that. It was kind of cool. So their donuts here were a dollar each, and we got four. Now, our plan for this, as you could tell, you know, the best laid plans always kind of go astray. Um, we were planning to get the same flavor of donut from each place to kind of test them one to one. But here we had to just get what they got. And as we were, uh, Ian and I went to go use the bathroom, there's like people come in and like, we'll take four dozen donuts. And there's like like one bear claw left. I'm like, really? I don't even like these things. But we got a couple. And we're going to test them anyway. They ordered a dozen donuts, but they were kind enough because the lady remembered that Ian wanted the frosted one. And she says, do you still want this one? Um, because they were going to give it to the mother mother with her daughter. And then it was nice that she remembered that when Ian said that and Ian went to the bathroom. So we still got the one that Ian wanted. Yeah. but we had to change our selection yeah. which is okay so the lady and working here is very very nice and we then like we left and another family came in so they're pretty popular and they're right near two hospitals so yeah so umc hospital which is our main big big hospital with all like the trauma, trauma center. center and then valley and there's valley over here too so these are our two big hospitals in the area this is sort of the heart of where like i don't want to say the heart of the city but it's very close to where the strip is so it's kind of in the mix of everything here so what's our next place uh, Dulce. Dulce. Dulce is awesome. I have been there before. We so. Been there, so we're a little not true objective. Oh, Aiden wants to see. Good, good IQ. Say it. Two down, one to go. All right, one to go, Dulce Donuts. Just in full disclosure, just so you know, the only place that I've been to, I think any of us have been to before, is Dulce Donuts. And these other two places we've never tried before. So I know Dulce is good, so they might have they might have a little bit of a bias. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's get over there. Oh. The bus stop. The bus stop. Actually, no. Oh, I know. Dulce I know. Donuts. There's open 24 hours. That's the attraction to this place. I know this place. And know this place. they have a special here sometimes. I got. I don't know the price right now, but it used to be two gigantic donuts and a coffee for like 2.22. It was know, really a good deal. Um, we'll have to place. check inside and let you know. But this is Dulce here, 24 hours a day. Well, there are other specials. Buy one dozen, get two. This is one of my day. one of my favorite donut yeah, shops in town. So I'm a little I'm a little biased. I'll admit, but let's go check it out. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Look at all those great donuts, man. Yeah. Wow. Get your hands off the bus. Uh, yeah, someone's got to clean that, man. How are you doing today? Good. Wow. Nice. Beautiful place. All right, so there you saw the inside. They didn't have a business card with them at the time, so Dulce Donuts. Dulce. From the Spanish. Espani. For, for, what was it? A uh, sweet. Not to be confused with dulce de leche, which is sweet milk, or dulce mamacita, which is, you know, hot little mama, whatever. I don't know. We're talking donuts today, really. So, time to head back to HQ and do this test. Who do you think, in this particular shootout, is going to be the best? Who are you thinking? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm right. tell. I mean, I've been to dulce before, and I had a... Years ago when they first opened, I had a pretty bad experience here one time when I was here with a friend, and it took me about, gosh, two to three years to come back. They've upped their game they, considerably They have upped then. their game considerably, and it's clean again. Yeah, Let's just make the reference that we'll just go with that. It's very clean. It's yeah. much cleaner than it was way back in the day. Yes, so, so they've definitely upped their game. And, so uh, I, we've been, we uh, last six months, we've actually been coming back here more, maybe the last year. Yeah. Uh, come back here more, and uh, it's been consistently really good. Um, I'm really interested to try real donuts because yeah. I've heard a lot we have a good a really good friend that really oh, recommended I the place like this. so yeah. and I'm thinking you're gonna be so close to a hospital you're gonna be good because so many people are gonna come by oh, like yeah the this. other cool part about this is that they have breakfast sandwiches they have iced coffee ice creams and, and general food items so primarily a donut shop but other stuff as well and that special I was telling you about I checked it out when I was in there you get two the donuts are actually really large you get two donuts and a coffee for $2.99. Oh. That's a smoking good deal, but by the way. I can tell you this. I looked it up on and Google. What do you got there? Dulce had 33... Don't look at my notes. 33... Don't look at my notes. I can't read my writing. 33 reviews and 4.9 stars, whereas Real Donuts had 37 reviews with 4.5 stars. Okay. And then Ronald's 126 reviews with 4.9 stars. So Ronald's, based on that, gets a lot more. Needless to say, we got ourselves a shootout here. This is going to be a good one. All right, back to HQ. All right, so here we have real donuts. Here we have 
Dulce Donuts. They didn't have a card. And there's Ronald's Donuts. I smashed that one up in the bag a little bit, so that's my fault, not theirs. Real Donuts. Little cups for the milk, so we can wash out in between. Milk, plates, and there's our setup. What are we waiting on there, IQ? Yeah, coffee. Coffee, over here. Now this, if you remember from our Be Creative episode we did, these are our tiles. So now we use it for our coffee and for our prep center over here. We're gonna do a press pot. What kind of coffee we have in here today? Tanzanian pea berry, my favorite. So we're gonna brew up our coffee and the Quinterables are donutting up. There we go. We'll say, was that Ronald's? Ronald's. Ronald's, okay. So the Ian first is one itching to taste to this one here. So before you do that, are right, you wanna take a bite of it? All right, go ahead. The eyebrows give it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so what we're gonna do is now just so you guys know, we're not gonna eat all these donuts. I know you were thinking it. We're not. There's we're gonna only three of us. There's three of us, and there's like a dozen donuts here. We're gonna just cut off little samples and taste. So, just thanks. Anyway, so there was there was Ian's first one. Okay. So we're gonna get in on this, and we're gonna start since we started with Dulce. Let's do those first, and we will report back in a moment. Okay, so there's the dulce donut. That was good. It was doughy. Um, I'm not a big fro like the frosting kind of donut, um, but it was pretty good. I see why Ian likes it so much. Mm-hmm. Like okay, so this is the Ronalds. Same style with the sprinkles or Jimmy's if you're from Philadelphia. I'll let you work that one out. Hmm. Hmm. Both have a very good cake flavor. The one from Ronald's tastes a little bit fresher. Mm. So that'd be my only thing. It has a little, like a little fresher taste to it. All right, I gotta taste it now. All right, so she's going in. IQ right, is in on it over there. Mm. How we doing? It does have a fresher taste. <laughs> Go ahead okay, a piece went on to the floor. Exactly. That's gonna be for the dogs. While, while we're doing this, I'll show you my cup, Reese's. Got mm. that at Hershey Park, you saw the video. And then this over here was Mother's Day gift for Kia Killjoy. It's actually a donut shaped coffee mug. Mm. Pretty oh, sure I showed I, that to you already. I don't but. think I'm supposed to be drinking out of it. It's really challenging to drink out of. Coffee's lovely though. All right guys, next one. We didn't taste, who's this one? Real. Okay, Real's up next. Same dealy. Real donuts. Real donuts, same thing, sprinkles. What are you thinking there, kiddo? No, nah, doesn't like it, okay. So real is out, what well, do you think? the disappointing part is we didn't know it was blueberry inside. Oh. It's a blueberry cake donut. Oh. So it's not what we were expecting. It's then. really, really sweet. Mm. It's a little dry too. Oh. Okay. Take a sip of milk, and take a sip of milk right here. Where's the milk over there? Oh. Milk is wonderful with donuts, right? As does coffee. So. In his first shootout round, it looks like Ronald's is going to take it for the uh, frosted with the sprinkles on it. I think maybe we'll try one more because we're not going to eat all these, but let's probably yeah. just the plain donuts and we'll give you our, our next verdict. All right, guys. So the next dilemma we have here is that we have chocolate, chocolate, no chocolate, because by the time we got there, they were basically all sold out of everything. So we're going to do the chocolate shootout next. Do you want to go Ronald's or Dulce e IQ over here? He's going to stick with his sprinkled and that's going to be it for him because we don't want too much sugar for him. And he's gonna have to eat a block of cheese to get over that. But which one do you want to do? You want to do Ronald's or Dulce? Um, well, it's like in the same order. We'll go Dulce. All right, Dulce first. Who do you think is gonna win this one? I don't know. No, I tough. think it's gonna be Ronald's again. I'm gonna go Ronald's on this one because so. of the first one. All right, bring Ronald's over this way. And just so you guys know, we got cups of milk shooters over here. So milk shooters, coffee, and uh, the donut challenge rolls forward. All right, here we go. Runs. Run old, and I'm gonna cut the. Uh, you want me to cut it for you? There we go. This part right there. All right, Kia, you're up. And I'm gonna break off a piece here. And then she goes in for the kill. What do we think? Nice and doughy. Okay. I like it. Not too sweet. It's better than Duncan. Hmm. That is a good donut right there. That is pretty good. 
milk shooter. All right, so this is Dulce Donuts. This is their chocolate frosted. Now again, we can't go up against real on this one because they didn't have them, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Uh, I really like another cup. IQ down there wants another really milk fresh. shooter. It's really fresh. Yeah. I think I like the chocolate better at Ron's. All right, this is fresh, very chewy. The one from Ronald's has just, I think, a little better texture and a little better chocolate, so I, I have to give it to Ron's on that one. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I gotta give it to Ron's. Now, don't get me wrong, Dulce's really good. I think Ronald's wins that one. All right, now this one here is the plain cake. And I'm gonna hack off a piece of this here. This is just your standard plain cake donut. She's gonna work on that one. Break up these here. Now let's see. Now this is real donuts. Now people we know really like this place. I like that a lot. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's not overly sweet. It's your traditional old-fashioned donut. So if that's you that's good for coffee. That's good for coffee dunking. So they also that's all they had left. They had this. This is a blueberry, which we kind of already had with this frosted ones. I don't want to go for it again. And this here, let's grab a quick chunk of this. This was a sour Wait, cream. Wait, are we going to change it compared to the other? Well, hold on a second because it's kind of the same. That's sour cream. we got to give real donuts the same amount of air time here. So here we go. What do you think? It's almost the same, huh? Mm-hmm. It's got a it's sour cream, so it's an old-fashioned with sour cream in it. So that's that one and that one. So real donuts is that selection there. I gotta tell you that real is not too bad. Dulce, pretty rocking. So far, I think Ron's has it. I think Ronald's is uh, maybe our winner. We have to try the last, the two glazed. All right, so we got these glazed here. Let's go with Dulce first. Like I wouldn't pass up going to real donuts. Yeah, you know, like I wouldn't say no. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I gotta cut this. It's four. Ready? Apparently the dogs are going to do the donut challenge as well. I sit, sit, who likes donuts? Sit, bag, bag, good boy. Fuck Lisa. Oh. What? Do you like donuts? And that's it. Little piece for them. It make me feel on the Doggies track. can't have too much, so. Oh, Little okay. taste and that's it. All right, so this is just your traditional glazed yeast kind of donut. From Dulce. From Dulce, so here we go. 11. Mm, lovely. I like it. You? I do. That's Dulce right there. Ronald's, so far the uh, the leader, let's bring it over. All right, hold off a couple pieces there for us. And this is it, and then we're gonna have to come up with oh, our final. This decision. is looking really fresh. Well, that's super fresh. Look how nice and spongy that is. Here we go. Winner. Hands yeah. down, winner. That's yeah, no, yeah. no doubt. That's good. Milk shooter. All right, guys. So, real donuts. Dulce. And Ronald's. Ronald's. Now, judging by the plates. You tell me what the winner is. <laughs> well, this one's the there you go. Even so. All right. I think I, I think I have to give it to Ronald's. Um, Ronald's. I, I was surprised. It was kind of a good last one. I wasn't sure if they were going to make. Now Ronald's was the one that was cash only. They were ninety cents a donut, so they were the cheapest out of the sponge. Everywhere else was a dollar a donut. Uh, Dulce, I think, has the best special with the coffee and donuts when you're there. And then and they're real, open hours. and they're open twenty four hours. And then real, we didn't really get a good chance because they were low on stock at the time. So. I think out of this, and I think third place is for me is going to be real donuts. I think Dulce is going to come in second, and I think Ronald's wins this shootout on my side. I agree. And then um, Agent IQ, what was the best frosted donut? The first one. Yeah. Was it Ronald's or Dulce's or real? It was Ronald's and Dulce. Okay. Ronald's and Dulce, yeah. All right, so part one, shootout for the Quinterables Vegas Donut Challenge. We're going to give it to Ronald's on this one. All right, guys, so... Upcoming, we have these Donuts. Okay. And the donut shop down on the on 6th Street past the Strip. If you're a sports person, specifically NHL hockey, you know how they do, like, the playoff brackets. This is the first round right here in this bracket. Ronald's is coming out of this 
part one competition. In the next one, we're going to do three different places and we're going to find a winner for there. We'll do a third one, get a winner from there, and those three winners will do the final shoot. It's like the Tournament of Champions on Jeopardy. <laughs> what is chocolate frosted? Mom, can you give me so, six things? You love donuts. Hit that thumbs up button because you know you do. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the Quinterables. Hit the little bell notification icon so you get the updates. So you can continue following the challenge. And uh, I think I may dig into a couple more of these. I'm not sure. I'm not going to vlog it though because that might be gluttonous. I don't want to. I don't want you to show my fatness on camera. All right, guys. Signing off. Quinterables. Out. See you soon. No, I have 10%.